Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Many people have been wondering about the Dune trailer, whether there is a trailer ready, and the answer is yes, there is a trailer ready. I can confirm a trailer is ready, and it has been ready for some time. Some people have already seen the trailer, including Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet, including the press, and now that the press have seen the trailer, it's only a matter of time before we do. A trailer was supposed to go out with the beginning of the Inception movie, but that apparently has been cancelled. Now there's an opportunity for it to appear before Tenet when it comes out in cinemas. We may get to see it earlier, we may get to see it later, there is just no way of telling right now. But let's get to what is actually in the trailer itself. The Dune trailer is going to feature some very interesting, fulfilling scenes. I can confirm that this information is real and it will happen in the trailer. Now, if you do not want to be spoiled, I suggest you watch another video of mine. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. If you would like to support this channel, you can support me on Patreon, where you'll be first to get exclusive access to new material ahead of time. Now, with that out of the way, Let's dive right into the Dune news. Now, what we're going to see are some things that we've been waiting to see for quite some time now. We'll get a first look at the Harkonnens, in particular, Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, played by Stellan Skarsgård. And the way he has been described is that he will look demonic. And that's an incredible way to describe him. We were hoping that he was going to look strange, even grotesque, but to hear that he's going to look demonic is something very interesting. The fact that Stellan is going to look demonic is a little different from the way we've seen him being portrayed before. He almost has been portrayed as a, a caricature, pure evil, overtly evil type character. <laughs> But this Baron seems to be more cunning, more conniving, more devilish and satanic. So when he's described as demonic, it seems that his role is going to be more of a serious role, a, a serious villain. Fans will be happy to know that Zendaya is going to make an appearance in the Dune trailer when it is released. Speaking to InStyle, Zendaya calls Dune incredible and says that she wasn't in it very much but when she was watching the trailer she was taken aback and she immediately called Timothy Chalamet to celebrate with him and basically tell him that he should be proud of himself. She called him and said, dude, you should be proud. Now, for someone to say something like that to another actor is kind of a big deal. I mean, he could really have made a career choice that will catapult him to even more stardom than he has already experienced. This kind of role may define his career from now on, so... Zendaya goes on to say that it is a big deal to even be a small part of something with such a massive cast. And I love sci-fi stuff too, it's fun to escape into another world. It's nice to know that she's a science fiction fan and that she appreciates the genre. Patrice Carlos describes Zendaya as looking fierce in the trailer, so that's something very interesting as well. Zendaya who plays Cheney is going to look strong and warrior-like, rather than just simply a beauty who knows how to fight and take care of herself. She's going to look like an actual warrior, fierce. Timothy Chalamet will make an appearance in the trailer and he will be fighting in the desert. So there is going to be a fight scene in the desert with Timothy. And it is believed that they are the Fremen, but it's not very clear. He fights a group of people and apparently Timothy Chalamet looks nothing like his other roles. He looks completely different. So that will be an interesting thing to see that he owns this Paul Muad'Dib character and looks completely different to his other roles. People have been saying that the visual effects they've seen and what you see in the trailer is already worthy of an Oscar winner. So that is something very exciting that this movie, people are already talking about this movie winning Oscars and no one's even seen it yet. But there are people who have actually seen the trailer and say that this movie should definitely win an Oscar. So that's something very interesting. And to win an Oscar specifically for the visual effects. 
There are some beautiful scenery shots of Arrakis and Caladan as well that we will be able to enjoy in the trailer. And something important about the trailer is the music. Now people have been wondering whether Hans Zimmer is going to have any music that can accompany the trailer. And the answer seems to be yes. Now I've been told that the trailer music is very Hans Zimmer like. So he may have some of his score as part of the Dune trailer. The way the music has been described is a mixture of interstellar and gladiator sounding epic. Now this is news that I am very happy to hear because I loved both Interstellar and Gladiator. Gladiator has the kind of the, the Middle Eastern instruments and Interstellar has the ethereal, strange, otherworldly sound. And to have those two mixed together just sounds like it's going to be an incredible ride. So I think the music is going to be one of the defining factors of this trailer. It's going to give us a taste of the tone of the Dune movie and the direction Hans Zimmer is going for. So what do you guys think of the newly released information? Let me know in the comments section below. As we know, Denis Villeneuve is going back to do some reshoots in Jordan. So we have that to look forward to. And there may be some interesting news and images released based on them going back to Jordan. We may get to see some Instagram photos or maybe some promotional pictures quite soon. As for when the trailer actually drops, it is likely that the trailer will drop with Stephen Colbert on The Late Show, on his channel, because of course we have those images of all the cast doing a, a video call together with Stephen. Now they've pre-recorded an interview already with the cast, so they're just waiting for that to air. And the reason it hasn't aired yet is because they're holding back on the promotion due to the uncertainty of when cinemas will be opened, when films will be released. So they don't want to air it too early. Now, of course, in a normal world, in normal circumstances, we would call this being aired too late. But because of the pandemic, we have to continue this Dune journey like this without promotions, without trailers for the time being, just until things have settled and calmed down so that we know that when it is released people will be hyped and ready to go to a cinema and they will feel safe and secure in that cinema environment. So a quick recap of the trailer that we're going to see. Zendaya will look fierce. She will make an appearance in the trailer. Timothy Chalamet will appear in the trailer. He'll be fighting people. It may be Fremen. We're going to see the Baron, Vladimir Harkonnen, played by Stellan Skarsgård. He's going to look demonic. And we're going to see beautiful shots of Caladan and Arrakis. So that was just a little update I wanted to give you guys. Are you ready to see the Dune trailer? What would you like to see in the Dune trailer? Are you looking forward to seeing the Baron in the trailer? How about Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya? I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. Thank you and until next time, see you soon.